Let's see if this works. The fractal structure requires that it be removed for- With all respect, Master Arca, you are incorrect. The structure only appears fractal. If you view it through the lens of the Force, you- I don't suppose either of you is going to move past your petty geometrical squabble long enough to notice we have a visitor. Sorry to disturb such illustrious masters, but I am in need of information. No need to apologize, Jedi. They have a tendency to get carried away. The last person to use the Noeticon got so tired of hearing these two yammer, he shut us down. It was a mercy. Wait, Master Thoris. Where is the Jedi Temple? We seem to have been moved. The temple has been destroyed, and its contents ransacked. Destroyed? Has any of the knowledge been recovered? Not that I'm aware. 
It seems much has changed since we were last activated. And not for the better. Masters. I've come seeking help for my own master, Yuan Pa. She's suffering a mysterious illness. How terrible. Come, tell us her symptoms. Perhaps we can help. So, she claims the darkness is coming and talks of someone called Arcanus, and her mind is most affected. Hmm. I'm afraid we've plied our extensive knowledge of biological, chemical, and technological diseases, but this illness is beyond us. What would you have me do? Sometimes knowledge comes through ruling out false ideas. For once, Master Vandar and I agree. Yuan's illness is definitely not medical, but we have accessed files that bear cross-checking. If you can find the Noeticon of Light, where Masters Noad, Nomi, and Wo guard the Jedi Order's mystical knowledge, they may be able to help. I'll try. But with all our knowledge, you'd think we could save one of our own Masters. I'm sorry we couldn't have been of more help, but it's difficult without the other parts of the Noeticon. Find the Noeticon of Light, and seek your answer there. May the Force be with you. And remember, if you seek answers, you must always ask questions. Look what the Wampa dragged in. I was beginning to wonder if I'd see you again. Did you get the shipment of slave collar chips? Take these chips and destroy them, Captain. Oh, I will. Senator Bark will be disappointed, but the law is the law. Even for Senators. I know he probably offered more, but I can at least give you the standard rate for your work. You have my gratitude. You're welcome. You've earned those credits. I've got a lot of data work to do now. We don't want the Senator finding any fault with the way this was handled. But you've got my thanks. My man can't believe you took on all those gangsters and lived. You're a blasted hero, you know that? With the network terminals locked down, the speeder traffic is secure. Now, all that's left is pushing out those gangsters for good. There was some kind of encrypted message on the network. It looks like a recording. Let me see that. Hmm. It's an old migrant merchant's guild code. I think I can decrypt it. Here we go. You accepted our friendship, Senator Kale, and credits. It's time you paid us back. All we want are the housing projects you promised our people now. Your people will have to wait their turn like everyone else. I owe you nothing. If you continue pushing me, I'll destroy you all. Should have known Senator Kale was too good to be true. She's even a bigger crook than I thought. Doesn't make sense. There's gotta be an explanation. Your extortion attempt has failed. My people are pushing back your little army as we speak. It's over. Nobody breaks a deal with us, Senator. 
We'll have what we want one way or another. This is way above my pay grade. I'm not destroying the reputation of Coruscant's most popular politician. Take the recording. I don't want it. Be strong, Captain. Exposing corruption is rarely easy, but you have an obligation to this world. I'm risking my life every second I spend down here. The Jedi can sort this out. Senator Kale has done great things for Coruscant. She's a good woman. Give her a chance. My men and I will stay down here. You should go back to the Senate Tower. Vehicle pads are currently open for business. That will be all, Minister. Dismissed. Captain Winborn contacted me. You thwarted an attack that would have killed thousands. You have my gratitude. Unfortunately, you also have a hollow recording I would like destroyed. Its contents will only cause harm. Do you know how many lives have been lost because of your deception, Senator? I thought the only life I risked was my own. I expected assassination attempts, not war. My opponent in the elections was a vile man. Lazy, stupid, and corrupt. He wasn't interested in building, only taking. I had to win. But I didn't possess as much wealth as he did. When those gangsters approached me, I accepted their donation. And I'd do it again. The people choose their leaders by popular vote. What difference did it make how many credits you had? Don't be naive. Wealth can purchase influence, and influence sways popular opinion. My opponent understood that too well. I stole from those criminals to rebuild Coruscant for its people. Set things right. I'll bring the Migrant Merchants Guild to justice. You hold the power to ensure my success. Let me finish healing this world. Please. Destroy that recording. If you really love the people of Coruscant, you'll admit what you've done. Let them decide whether or not to forgive you. You think I'm dishonest? I'm just a realist. But there's no point arguing it with you. 
I won't force you to go public. I'll call an emergency meeting in the Senate. Tell them the truth. Let them decide. Coruscant will be rebuilt. With or without you. I promise to help finish what you've started. Perhaps you should run for office. I'll see to it you're properly recognized for your heroism in the old galactic market. Farewell. That was a fairly unsubtle attempt to get my attention. <laughs> If this is true, it is my duty to unveil this corruption. Oh, my God. 